Welcome to Gutter Talk. Let's get started. This week I picked up The Astonishing Ant-Man Issue 1, Karnak Issue 1, Batman and Robin Eternal Number 3, Titans Hunt Issue 1, and the new series Clean Room. Alright, Ant-Man Number 1. If you like the movie, I recommend picking this up. It's not as funny, but it's got that same style of humor. And the scenario it sets up using modern technology with the main bad guy pitching a mobile app to send henchmen after superheroes is actually quite funny. And now Karnak issue one. Karnak is this very cool character. He's kind of monk-like in his calm manner, but also he has this ninja-like precision of spotting people's weaknesses and exploiting them. I really like this issue because it relied more on the visuals and less on the dialogue. A lot of comics rely on the voiceover monologue to build up the story, whereas Karnak builds tension with silence and just the beauty of the images. For example, a page like this has several panels with absolutely no dialogue and no voiceover. This style shows what's unique about the comic book medium. A writer doesn't have to put everything in words to explain the story. He can sit back and allow the artist to tell the story through imagery. It just makes Karnak that more hardcore and intense. The way he breaks into a room in complete silence and doesn't drop any of those cheesy quips a lot of superheroes are known for. And now Batman and Robin Eternal number 3. As you know, this is my current favorite series. It's another great issue. If you haven't started this series, pick it up. We finally get to see in this issue what Bruce Wayne has been up to, and we learn a little bit more about Mother. I won't spoil anything, so pick this issue up. And now to Titans Hunt number one. I picked up this issue because it's got a cool cover and it looks like it's going to have a lot of heroes in it. This issue mostly covers Dick Grayson while tying in a few other heroes briefly. This issue was interesting to me because from reading Batman and Robin Eternal, I was introduced to Dick Grayson as Agent 37, and Titans Hunt was the first time I'd seen him in action on a solo mission, and it also explains some of his past exploits in Cape Town and fighting the cartel. As for the story, it feels like they're trying to connect all the characters first and then they'll meet up in later issues. And there's some sort of greater mystery building. Who is watching them? And why do they want the Titans? And lastly, I picked up the new series Clean Room from Gail Simone, who's one of my favorite authors. I like the concept of this series where people after near-death experiences begin to hallucinate weird creatures and graphic images that will be really interesting to explore as the series progresses. But this issue didn't give me enough story. I get that they're trying to keep the clean room a mystery, but they didn't reveal enough to hook me just yet. The quote of the week comes from Batman and Robin Eternal 3 when Stephanie Brown is telling Harper about Batman's butler. He has a butler? Bat butler? Battler. That's all for this week. Let me know in the comments what your favorite issue was, and remember to subscribe and share this video with your fellow comic geeks.